hello everyone and thanks for joining so in this particular video we are going to do one end to end azure data engineering project we are going to build one data pipeline and we are going to discuss one of the most important use case that is a incremental data loading in this particular video okay and that is one of the most important topic from a developer perspective and from a data engineering perspective so that we are going to discuss in this video okay so the ag agenda is like we are going to understand the business requirement first how actually we understand in a real time and then we will see how actually we can approach to solve this particular problem and then we will do a practical okay so before starting if you are new in this particular channel please do like support so that the more videos like this i'll try to post it okay so let us do the business requirement let us try to understand so we have a data that is coming into the our order db and we have to create one pipeline which will be able to transfer our data from a one table to the another table but in a incremental way okay so let us try to understand the incremental okay actually happening we have one order table in a sql db okay and we want to copy this data into the order new table okay only the limited column suppose here in the sql in order table we have a 100 column so i only want to copy this into the new table only the 50 column okay so that is the first requirement and the second requirement is like the incremental way okay so suppose the five rows you already copied into the new table so when the new time when you will copy right only the new record should be copied into the new table okay suppose uh today we have a five records you run the pipeline the five records already got copied into the new table okay next day again two rows came okay means total we have a seven rows okay but uh, the two rows is the new rows right so when you when we will run a pipeline only the two rows should be inserted into the table not the complete seven rows okay so that is the requirement that is the incremental we say okay so let us try to see how actually we can solve that okay so first i will show you the table okay i have a two table okay this is my sql db i have one order table in order table i have a four column order id name last name and the insert time and the this is my second table that is my sync table order id name and the insert time okay so this is my first table i have a order id name last name and the insert time and this is my the source table order id name and the insert time okay i am not considering the last name because that is not important for me okay only the three only the order id name and the insert time that actually i want to insert into the new table so that is my first requirement and the second requirement is the incremental load okay so suppose this three is already available into this table right we have already seen this three record is already available in the both the table suppose the new record is getting inserted okay so when i will run the pipeline instead of coming the whole four records and it should it shouldn't copy the complete whole record again okay it should only take the new records and it should copy into the new table okay so that is the incremental load we say and that actually we have to solve it okay so here how actually we are going to solve this so what actually we will do you can see this is my our source table right and this is my final table okay so what what is the logic we are going to apply what we will do we will try to take a maximum time from the so sync location okay this is my order new table right this is my a sync new table okay so what i will do i will take a maximum insertion time from this particular table okay this is the date column okay so generally in a real time also you will be having a column which will tell the date okay suppose if a new subscription is getting created so subscription time will be there new order is getting created the order time will be there right similarly here also we have created one insert time okay so if the new record is uh, creating so the insert time the new value will come okay so what we will do we will try to take a maximum time from the sync location okay and uh, we will try to load from maximum insertion time greater than the maximum insertion time okay so what we will do from the next time whenever we will run a pipeline right it should be greater than the this particular time that is the approach we will do it so how actually we can do that we are going to see okay so uh, so i has already show you this is my order table here i have a three records in the order final also i have a three records the same record same insertion time what i will do i will create a i will insert a new record this is the order id 4 you can see it got inserted now if i show you in order table the new record got inserted with the new time okay now that is not available into our sync location the order final table now when i will copy 
when i will perform a copy activity in the data pipeline right only the new record should be copied into the new table so that is the thing we have to follow and that is a incremental load okay so how actually we can build a pipeline so this is our data factory so go to the author we will create a new pipeline let me delete the old one first let's create a new pipeline go to the pipeline click on the new pipeline okay what we will do uh, first we are going to go to the general and look up okay what actually i want i want to get the maximum time from the order final table okay so from order final table what is the maximum time and greater than the maximum time actually i want to get right so what is the maximum insertion time into the sync location that actually i want to get so i have i have done the look up okay in the look up i'll go to the setting i'll create a data set that is a sql database so as a sql database i will select that okay link service okay so uh, for link service you have to click on the create as your subscription you have to select server name you have to select database name you have to select and the authentication you have to provide okay once it will done click on the uh, click on the create and click on the table okay so here i will select my the target target table what is my target table where we want to copy the order final okay so in this order final table what i want to get i want to get the maximum time okay i want to get the maximum insertion time from this particular table so what i will write a query maximum insert time from order final table okay so this is the thing i want if i will preview this maximum insert time from a what is my table name this is the orders final okay so this is the orders final okay if i preview this it will give me only the maximum time from this table you can see the what is the maximum time this is the maximum time okay so what actually we want to do the greater than maximum time from the order final that record only should get inserted okay so that is the thing we want to do okay so that's why i applied a lookup activity okay now after lookup what i will do i will perform a copy activity so in a copy activity i will select this i will merge this okay i will select the copy data source i will select what is my source source is nothing but a sql db, db right so i select the sql db okay link service will select the same link service the same table what is my source source is nothing but a order table right so this is my source okay if i'll show you the source this is the order id name last name and the insert time the whole record you can see 1 2 3 4 okay so this is the one but what we want we only want to copy order id name and the insert time we don't want to copy the last name right so for that we will write a query what is the query we can write select what we will write we want to copy a order id we want to copy a name and the insert time okay from which table let me open the add dynamic content and we will write a query okay so what we want to write from a from a which table uh, order table from a orders if i will preview the data you can see order id name and the insert time okay you can see only the three column is selected we have written a query and we are able to get the three column okay now what is our next thing next thing is like i should only copy the new record okay which is not copied into the new table okay which is not available into the new table okay you can see the new record is only the four right so we should co only copy the four how actually we can do that for that we will write a one dynamic content uh, okay so what is the query we are going to write i will explain you that query and i will give you that also so that you can also practice okay so let me show you and let me write that okay okay so this is the query okay so what actually we are doing we are selecting a order id this is my column name this is my the second column and the insert time is my third column what i have done order id name insert time from a which table from a orders table 
ओके सो वाट आई हेज सेलेक्टेड ऑर्डर आई डी नेम इंसर्ट टाइम फ्रॉम ऑर्डर टेबल वेयर इंसर्सन टाइम शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन द दिस लुकअप राइट दिस इज द लुकअप दिस इज द लुकअप ओके सो इफ यूल सेलेक्ट दिस लुकअप राइट वॉट एवर द आउटपुट ऑफ द लुकअप वन ओके सो दैट विल कम हियर ओके सो इफ आई क्लिक ऑन द ओके ओके वाट इज दिस डेट वन ओके लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके सो आई गो टू द लुकअप हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव provided maximum insertion time right so let us give one alias as a date 1 okay so this is the date 1 maximum insertion and date 1 is nothing but a this is a column name okay now let me go to the query and let me explain you what we have written we have written order id name insert time from order table and the insertion time should be greater than the whatever the lookup one insertion time right so for that this is the condition we are writing ओके सो दिस इज वी हैव टू राइट ओके सो वॉट एवर द इंसर्सन टाइम विच इज वॉज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल इन टू द अवर टेबल ओके सो नेक्स्ट टाइम वेन वील रन अ पाइप लाइन द ग्रेटर दैन टाइम ओनली द रिकॉर्ड शुड कंसिडर एंड इट शुड गेट कॉपी सो फॉर दैट वी हैव रिटर्न दिस कंडीशन क्लिक ऑन द ओके ओके नाउ आफ्टर दैट वील क्लिक ऑन द डी बग ओके ओके बिफोर दैट लेट्स सेलेक्ट अवर सींग सो वेयर एक्चुअली वी वॉन्ट टू कॉपी ओके वी वॉन्ट टू कॉपी दिस इन टू अ SQL DB, right? So I will select the SQL database. Link service will be the same. Where actually we want to copy? We want to copy into the our new table that is a order final table. So that I have selected. Okay, now this is our ready pipeline. I will click on the debug. Once I will click on the debug, let's see if any error comes. If not, then the data should get copy into the new table only the one record. That is the fourth record. okay that is the thing we have to check whether it's working fine or not okay so what is the condition we are writing okay suppose you copy till two days okay so from the next day only the new record should come right so whatever the greater than the previous day right so that is the condition we are writing here also okay so let us see whether it's loading properly or not you can see look up one got succeed but the copy data is still running if any error comes we will try to debug you can see it is failing let us see and let us try to understand what is the error you can see failure happened on the sync side name cannot be found okay so there is one error so we'll go to the this sync okay source okay it should be name should be capital okay let me write name let me click on the okay let me debug again okay let me debug again a uh, name was not properly so that was that's why it was giving error so i have corrected that column name so let's run let's see whether it's completing or not you can see it is succeed okay now i will go to the database okay i will show you the final table the final table previously three records was there right now if i will execute you can see the new record got inserted with the insertion time right if i show you the order table in order table also we have four record and here also we have a four record okay only the new record got inserted suppose let me uh, insert one more record okay let me insert one more record into the new table into the uh, in the into the existing table okay suppose new record got inserted if i will show you the order table here we have of order id 5 and the insertion time you can see 17 5 okay now let's try to run the pipeline let me click on the debug okay only the new record should get inserted okay so whenever i will run a pipeline only the new record should insert okay so that is the motto so the, let's see whether it's working fine or not you can see it succeed now if i go to the database if i show you the new table you can see the only the fifth record got inserted with the timing okay so like that we can perform a incremental load i hope you got it that's it in this video thank you